Last season, I was doing a proxy hunt for my grandfather-in-law and harvested a pretty large bull caribou. And because it was a proxy hunt, I had to cut the skull plate in half. But it seemed like a pretty nice decoration for my shed out back. So this video is my attempt to put it back together and hang it on the shed. Here's the caribou I harvested last year. When repairing the antlers, I'm going to try to use as much as possible materials that I've got lying around the house. And at the end of the video, I'll let you know how that worked out and if I do anything differently. So the first thing I notice is that because it's been apart so long and drying, the halves don't meet up flush. So I'm going to need to do a little sanding to make them fit flat together. I started out using this electric palm sander, but that didn't help make a flat edge. This hand sander proved to be a lot better to make the edges flatter. Now that they're close, I'm going to drill several holes, probably three or four holes, small holes, and then I'm going to string dental floss through those. I have three small holes drilled now. And on this side I had to drill a couple of them from the back. Didn't have enough room to get the drill in on this side. Forgot to mention I used 60 grit sandpaper sand in this so that we go faster. Didn't need to be super smooth. I'll just clean this up a little to get the dust off. I've got one or two strands of this wax dental floss strung through the holes. So now I'm going to mix up some JB weld. I'm going to apply it to both sides then pull this together and tie these strings and adjust it a little bit and keep my fingers crossed. Okay I've got the JB weld on both sides now I'm going to carefully pull those strings together and then tie them. Well, the dental floss idea was an epic failure. It might have been possible if I was planning to tie it from this side, but the way I had it set up, there was no way I could tie it. And doing this as a single person, I couldn't hold these halves together too well. So I quickly got some twine and did my best to tie it together, fix up the seam on the outside a little bit more with the JB weld, and then prop the antlers up on various junk in my garage. So we'll let it sit for a couple hours and see how it sets up. I was having trouble using enough pressure with just the twine so I put a little C-clamp on it before I let this set overnight. Looks like the JB weld set up pretty nicely and filled the gap completely. I'm probably going to need to put a little more JB weld to fill in those holes and some of the gap kind of right here it didn't line up very well so I'll put a little more here in these holes. Okay I've got more JB weld smoothing out the rough edges along the cut on the top and on the bottom a little extra. Now it's time to let this one cure. The JB weld turned out pretty well. I just need to sand it off. The next thing I need to do is fit a block into the skull so that I can I can mount this flush on the wall. That angle there is too high. The antlers would hit, so I need to put a block in there. So I've got a little piece of 2x2. Two two. I'm going to need to sand it and whittle it away and get it to fit in there. Seems to fit close enough now. 
I'm going to coat it with some spar urethane just to let the wood be better protected outdoors. I've got the rough edges of the JB Weld sanded down, ready to put a coat of paint on it. Now you can see underneath there that block of wood. That's setting the angle so that when it's up on the shed, those front shovels won't be hitting and neither will the beams on the back. So the next thing I'm going to do is drill a pilot hole in here. I'm going to go all the way through the wood and I'm going to make it bigger successively with a few drills. And then I'm going to make it big enough for a 3 8 inch lag bolt to go through there. Got the hole drilled and the lag screw in there. I put a little piece of tape here to hold that washer up so I can paint it. I'm going to paint this skull kind of a, a off gray tan color. I was going to cut these eye sockets off, but my wife thought they looked cool, so I'm going to leave them on. Um, the drilling came out a little bit off center there. I'm also going to reinforce this piece of wood with some caulk, some silicone caulk around it just to hold it in place better. The paint I used was this Home Depot Distant Gray. And I think it looks a lot like weathered bone, so I think it'll turn out well. I used some kitchen and bath silicone to hold that 2x2 two two block in place. Now that the silicone is cured, I'm going to put some of this spar urethane. I'm going to put a couple of coats of this on all the painted surfaces to make it a little more waterproof. Looks like it turned out really nice. Ready to mount on the shed. The repaired mounted antlers look great on the shed. It adds a more rustic look to the property. I learned a few things in the process of repairing these and putting them on the shed. The first is, if you don't have to cut a skull plate in half, don't. But that's probably not news to anyone. I had to since it was a proxy hunt. So if I were to do this again, the big change I would make is I would not use JB Weld. I would get one of those two-part epoxies in the tube that dry, that set in five or ten minutes, and definitely wouldn't try dental floss or wrapping it in twine. I would just put the epoxy on both sides after sanding it flat, and I would hold it until it was set. That would have been so much easier. And I ran into a snag with the silicone caulk that I used to hold the wood block into the back. For some reason, it was a defective expired tube of caulk, and it didn't set. So I had to pull the block out and clean all that silicone out and then put more in there. Maybe it would have been better just to epoxy that. Um, I think the paint color looked great. It looks w nice contrast against the antlers and the shed. and I don't think there's anything else I'd do differently. So I hope you found this video useful and uh, happy hunting.